Hola, hola, hola. Como pueden ver, esto es para hacer mis ejercicios después de una semana de no hacer nada porque me, <risa> me torcí la cadera, pero ya estoy mejorando. Primer día, no voy a hacer ejercicio mucho con las piernas, pero voy a hacer con los brazos. Igual como siempre, pero con mis pesas en las manos. También sirven para los pies, pero por hoy los voy a usar en las manos porque no puedo hacer mucho movimiento con las piernas porque todavía me duele la pierna. Así que, eche pancita en esta semana, comí bien. <risa> Using some beginner and lower type versions of things. So they will be challenging, but no crazy compound movements. If you reach towards the toe, because you don't have to go all the way down. No jumping, anything like that. Just giving you a good solid base of the movements using the dumbbells, overloading the muscles, so that you can tone in, and then also making sure that your heart pumps the time that what's amazing using. I have a chair, it's helpful for a couple things if you need a little extra bad, certainly not required. And then I'm going to be using just a set of five child dumbbells. You use what you have or what works for you. Don't worry if you're lighter or you're heavier, I'm just glad you're here. And then let's do a little stretch. Kick that leg out. You can keep it kind of low. We're just stretching through that hamstring. You should already feel a little bit of cardio, heart is pumping. So in between things while we're stretching out those muscles, we'll just keep it moving with marches or little step touches just to keep your heart pumping. As always, if you need breaks from this, let's just do a little twist from the torso. If you need breaks, we're gonna grab a couple quick sips of water throughout, but feel free to hit pause, come back to it, listen to your body, and do what's best for you. Just be where you are today. Okay, so we're going to start with just a very basic squat. We all know it. We're just taking it down. We're going to grab the dumbbells. We're going to hold them by our side. Feel free, if you want, to do the squat on the chair. The advantage of that is it's going to show you exactly where you need to be. So we're taking it here. Make sure it's a nice, sturdy chair. And drop it down. And then bring it up. So you can be on the chair or off the chair. If you're not, just make sure you grab those knees back. Like you are sitting in a chair and then bring it up. Join me. So we're dropping it down, up and squeeze. We've got the chair or a couch for something sturdy for a little bit of a reference. Go ahead and sit all the way down. That's going to make it easier on your knees and also show you how low you need to be. You don't want to be here if you can help it. I know sometimes some of us have knee problems and that's a little tough. You can keep it small range of motion. Just know that the lower you get, the more muscles we're recruiting. So we're getting more hamstrings, more, more glutes along with the quads. If we're here, it's all right in the front of our knees. So if we can get low and bring it up, you're gonna get more things healthy, which ultimately is better for our knee health. Keep breathing, we'll go last one right here and tap it out, nice job guys. It takes a little while if you're brand new to exercise to really feel like you've mastered that squat form. Just take your time, keep the weight in your heels, use the chair if you can. So then let's take it to a very basic bicep work. So my hands are here, elbows are in. I'm gonna turn my palms front and then just curling up towards my shoulders, drop it down. Curl and drop it down. So from here, we're seeing it here, nice and slowly control. Making sure we're not leaning in it, into it. You can always put one foot back to give you a little bit of support for back support. Pull the core in tight. Make sure you're breathing. Lower it down. My wrists are so nice and straight. Keep them strong, but not pulling with the top and the end of this. Keep them straight. And elbows in. Breathe. Good posture. Last one right here. And tap it out. Awesome job, guys. All right, so next move, we're gonna take it to a lunge. I'm gonna give you lots of options. First one being that if you want to have that chair, or if you want to do a little extra support, that's fine too. If you're doing that, maybe drop one of your dumbbells and just keep it on the other side. 
the other foot forward, nice and wide. If you can, we're gonna drop it down here. If that's still feeling any too much, just keep it a little bend in that front leg. You can keep it small without putting pressure on that back leg. So here we go, down and up. Start slow, start small, but if you can, drop it as low as you can. Same thing as the squat. We're gonna recruit more muscles, get more things working, more things helping, less pressure on the knees. So you've either got both your dumbbells here, or one dumbbell, or a bunch of you can do that. Pull that core in tight. If you need to make it small or even take it to that low impact, just tap in. That's always an option too. Just slide in in that front leg. Either way, last one right here. And uh, see how we feel that burn pretty quickly, right? So let's go. Same thing, other side. And then also the next thing keeps our heart pumping so we're building in our cardio with those nodes, right? So dumbbells down, abs pulled in tight, and both dumbbells, here we go. So again, you are to your level. If you're feeling it too much in your knees, focus on that front leg, doing a really small bend, or the low impact version, just tap it in so it's not even really a lunge, just a little bend here. If you can, we'll keep both those dumbbells here, just a little, press it up, core is in tight, Nice good posture, we need to make sure it was great. You think 90 degrees on both legs because you didn't need to for in that lunge. That way we're not leaning too far forward and we're making sure that we're up on that back toe. Just a few more right here. Four, three, two, and one. Tap it up. All right, breathe. So we're going to take it to a shoulder press. I'm going to give you two options. So, we're bringing it up to here, we're pressing in and down. If you have a heavier dumbbell or that starts to feel like too much, take one dumbbell, press it up here and down. It's up to you. We're going to keep it short, abs pulled in, take it here, here we go, up and down. And same idea as that bicep curl, you need to put one foot back to give you a little extra bounce so you don't feel like you're leaning. That works too. Or drop one of the dumbbells and just press on down. You just want to work through the shoulders, lifting up, shoulders, upper back, breathing. Got about five seconds. Here we go. Four, three, two, and one. See, I'm keeping it short today. Drop those dumbbells down, roll through. And we're going to take it to a 3A squat. So, let's go ahead and just do some little taps. We're going to leave our dumbbells down for just a second. And then we're going to grab a quick sip of water, water. before we move into those pleats. Water. So just tapping side to side. We're tapping a little bit in front of the guy am. Just while we shake out those muscles. And then also keep the heart pumping. Breathe. Four. Three. And grab a quick sip of water. If you need more of a break, just get hot. And then let's go ahead and bring it in. We're going to go to that plie squat or sumo squat. So toes are out, so that feels okay. And we're just going to do a small little down. So drop it low, squeeze if you want to add a little bit of balance. Just hold on to the wall. If you need a lower impact version without the bend, just squeeze those heels in together. Just pull them in, pull it out. But if you can, even if you can get just a slight bend, we're working, you can tell, a little more inner thighs, opening up the hips, making sure dumbbells, I like to rest them sort of right on the legs. You can also just take them down in center. What we want to avoid is when you just pull us down right there. Let's go four.
grab that second dumbbell. And I'm gonna go ahead and take one, I'm gonna turn to the side, I'm gonna put one foot back for balance, elbows in tight, and going behind my head, extend it up. I want you to try to get as low as you can behind your head, the most range of motion, the best for those triceps. And then also making sure my elbows see it. They're not out to here, and I'm not pulling the back, and I'm not cheating it and going really slow. If you can, behind the head, extend it up. All those trouble areas, especially as women, I know this is something that you guys tell me all the time you want to work. Pull the core in. And again, if that's feeling too light, you have two layer dumbbells, take them off. This is fine too. You're just going to take them over your head. Squeeze up. Or just keep it with the one. We're going to go for four. Abs pulled in. Three. Two. And one, and relax. Roll your shoulders. Just tap it off side to side one more time. Just bring that part of it up. We've got one last move standing. We're going to do the side lunge. Some of the workouts on my channel, a lot of them were stepping into it. We're just going to move side to side. So the side lunge is you're dropping the, driving the hip back, one leg stays straight, and then you're leaning into a lunge to the side. So we're gonna keep it nice and slow and small. Drive the hips back, one leg is bent that you're leaning to, other leg is straight for a little stretch. Just side to side. So start really small, and I want you to think less about the bend and more about driving those hips back. This is what I mean by that. Driving the hips back, chest drops forward, dumbbells go on either side, Moving laterally, so we're really working with your outer thighs and glutes, but also really good for strengthening the knees. Get down, push up, down, and up. Breathe. Here we go. Drive the hips back, low impact. You can just pull the work on the low impact, but if you need a little less, just push the hips back a little less bend. Tap it out, drop the dumbbells by the side, and then let's just do a little low impact jumping jack. Just one little heart rate push. I know your heart is probably already pumping. Before we take it down, a couple things on the mat. You need to slip up. It's over. If you've got the energy, you want to take it up a little quicker. That's fine with me. Or just keep it with just the taps. If you need a little more of a rest, reach. One, four, three, two, and one. Okay, so down onto the mat. We're going to come onto our knees. Now, I know sometimes this is hard for some people on our knees. I would encourage you to fold up your mat or get maybe a towel or something to give you a little bit of extra support. If that still feels like too much. You can do this one from the standing position. So we're going to do our row. So a lot of times we do that row from the standing position. The nice thing on your knees or from a modified plank, we're going to try both, is that it's going to force your back in the right position. So a lot of the mistakes you make is rounding over, looking like this, and then want to be here. When you're on your knees, you're kind of already in that position. So pull everything in tight. We're going to start just hands and knees. So knees beneath the hips. And then hands beneath the shoulders, dumbbells are here. Just pull one up at a time. So your core is pulled in nice and tight, but we're not in that modified plank yet. We're just coming here to here. Pull the elbow right by your side. Squeeze the shoulders. Imagine that you're pulling something in with those shoulder blades. Three, and now for four. Abs pulled in. Three, two, and then we're just taking a stretch back. And then we're going to do the exact same thing from the modified plank. If this feels like too much for you, stay right where you were. The exact move we just did on all fours. But if you can, walk those knees back, kind of in that modified plank or modified push-up position. And we're just going to take it one at a time from here. You can tell it's a little tougher both on your core, which is a little added bonus, but also a little tougher on the back. Making sure that we're not here, guys, and I want you to be here. Make sure everything's pulled in nice and tight in your core. Elbow up. Last three. Last two. And one. Let's stretch it back. Big steps to 
here. I'm just going to do a little low impact pour. And then you're done. Dumbbells to the side. Step it in right through here. And just take it here. A little low impact abs. And round it through here. Bring it up. So start really small. It's also a little bit of a stretch. If you can go a little bit further back, and then open up the chest. Maybe one of the little arms. Open it up. And the Pilates move. Think about that contracting the abs. If it feels like too much in the back, just keep it here and here. And go four, three, two, one. Your knees out to the side. Stretch it over. And then the last move, I promise we're just going to do a little aggression twist. So again, sit up nice and tall. Just take those hands and down by the neck. We're going to start here. If that's feeling okay, you can lean back a little bit with it or get more of a twist. If you're still feeling good about that, you can lift those feet up. That may feel like a little bit on your back. You may feel your hip flexors. That's normal to feel. But if you feel any pain in your back, just take it upright a little bit more. Keep that twist here. Feet up and lean back. It's more of an advanced move. You'll get there, but for now, let's just keep it here. Breathe. Twist for three, for two, last one, and relax. Knees up to the side, fold it over and stretch. Don't worry, guys, if you felt like there were some moves you couldn't do or you couldn't do very well. That's why I have these beginner workouts because we're all starting somewhere. So lean over into it here, let your head and neck drop. Relax into that. Bueno, 15, 17 minutos. Feel free to check out all of my other beginner low impact workouts for other options, some longer, some body weight. 